electronic devices such as these is what's causing every law agency across Southwest Florida to come together to fight against what state Amir Fox tells me is the biggest threat facing our area, child exploitation. Now with this task force, these agencies can band together and use different databases to fight these crimes. And when speaking with a victim of child exploitation, she tells me she is glad that policing agencies are keeping this in the forefront. I realized that my mother would have been considered to um, be uh, my trafficker. Tammy Tony Butler is a survivor of child sex trafficking. She tells me she was just a little girl, only in kindergarten, when it happened to her. She had her own childhood trauma. I do not fault her. I forgave her on her deathbed, and uh, I still love her. A reaction the CEO, Linda Aberhaus, with the Shelter for Abused Women and Children, says is common. As Tammy shared her story, she tells me she didn't even realize she was a victim until she was older. Many of them don't even, they don't even identify as victims of human trafficking. We've had victims who don't even know what trafficking is. Based on data from the Shelter for Abused Women and Children's website, the average age is 13 years old and children make up half of the human trafficking victims. State Attorney Mira Fox tells me this is one of the biggest threats in our region. Children are being exploited. It's very oftentimes children who are being trafficked. This leads to the Southwest Florida Intercept Task Force with the goal to use collective technology to fight criminal technology and to stop child pornography and exploitation. Criminals have no boundaries, okay, but we sometimes do. We're sometimes limited on how we can react, what we can do, and the tools we can utilize. Our goal is to identify those victims who, who have been affected, stop the distribution or transmission of videos, photos, and ultimately go back to rescue the original victim. As for Tammy, she tells me when thinking about her past, forgiveness and her faith have been a guiding light. There is hope. There is a pathway to healing, and I found it. The chains no longer bind me. This all came about because of Operation Lightshine, an organization that fights against human trafficking. And when I was speaking with the COO, he tells me that they wanted to provide this funding because they noticed it was a gap when it comes to federal funding when it comes to these type of agencies. This is the third Intercept Task Force that has been created. From Collier County, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.